Can you please introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name, where you're from, and share with us your testimony. Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Rose Oba. I came from Imo State, Owere precisely. My testimony goes like this. I retired in 2012 as the Education Secretary of Were Municipal and after my retirement, you know what retirement in Nigeria looks like. I was looking for something else to help myself and in the course of that, by the grace of God, towards the end of the year 2012, the prophet was prophesying in, in December 31st, precisely. So I was listening to it keenly, and the prophecy went like this. He said that people should enter into farming, you know, anything, food stuff. I said, ah, farming, I don't have a land for that. Fishery, no, I don't have money to build a fish pond. I have poultry, how can I? I was just praying with him, praying along that night. I said, hey, God, help me. I know his prophecy must surely come to pass in my life. I said, I, how am I going to do this? So, as I was just praying, I had that little voice. The Holy Spirit started talking to me. said, ah, enter into fishery now. I said, fishery? Can I build a fish pond? I don't have such money. He said, ah. You can build a fish pond with GP tank. I said, hey, GP tank? I've never seen this one before. He said, ah, go and ask. I said, eh. Hey. So as that conversation continued, I was happy. I was, my, I was gladdened. I said, ah, GP tank, okay, I can do that one. So the following morning, that was on the first, I went out. But unfortunately, you know, first, nothing happens on first. So but that week I went out, started looking for GP tank, started find, you know, looking for people that, where I can, that sell you know, these fingerlings to ask them. I found one. He said, yes, he heard about it, that people could use GP tanks. I said, hey, it's true. Ah, Holy Spirit, this is true. So that was how I started, though. Started with GP tank. By March, first week of March, I bought my GP tanks. I bought the figurines, I bought, uh, you know, I found somebody that we constructed because we normally constructed before. Then I started. Then when I bought the figurines, I said, I, this is prophecy from above. I use this anointed water. I spread it into the water. Prayed over it. I said, God, you normally tell the prophet what he says. He doesn't say out of his own word. The word comes from above. And I am keen into this word, this prophecy, that this fish I'm going to, you know, farm in these GP tanks will be a different one, not like others in the market. People will see it and say, ah, what is happening? And I will tell them it is God. My dear brethren, that was what actually happened. As you can see, here glory be to as God as you can see here that's me watch the screen of your television right there you are seeing the evidence of what God Almighty had done in her life she was in the service in the synagogue church for nations when the man of God prophet T.B. Joshua made a prophetic pronunciation and saying that people should go into farming and she followed that instruction in righteousness and knowing very well that God Almighty uses that medium of the anointing water because of the testimonies that she has heard in the past and watched in the past on Emmanuel TV she got the anointing water and as she started the fish farm she ministered the anointing water into the fish tank of the waters where the fish was going to be grown and farmed and right now you are seeing the evidence right there on the screen of her tablet can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ
So can you just shed a bit more light and oh, explain? Yeah. Uh -huh. Not only that, so as I, the fish, the fish started growing, very big fishes. So what I did, people started coming to my house, I prepare fish and, you know, give to them. They say, ah, madam, this fish is quite different from what we will be eating. Why don't you prepare takeaway for us? I started preparing takeaway, started preparing takeaway for them. Then one day, somebody now came, madam, madam, you see, this fish is quite different from what we've been taking. And you have a warehouse. Why don't you use this warehouse and use it as a restaurant, prepare for people instead of them coming to your house? I said, wow, it's true, it's Holy Spirit talking. So I went along. Then started this. I called it Rose of Sharon Continental Delicacies. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Yes, we have listened to our sister, our mother, and for the benefit of those watching us, we want to explain what she said is that after she started forming this fish, that as she ministered the anointing water, the growth of the fish was so much that people started coming to her and they told her that this fish is above the normal kind of fish that we have seen before. Please, can you prepare this fish for us? We want to taste it. And as people started coming, more and more started trooping to her to eat of her blessed fish. Uh, someone gave her the advice, that, why can't you start a restaurant and that is the picture there today she is the proud owner of a restaurant not only a fish farm but also a restaurant that is serving the food in connection with her fish farm can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ so today I'm a proud owner of a fish farm as well as a restaurant and this fish if you test it the I'm telling you, people testify. It's quite different. Quite different. Very, it's, you know, fishes are usually very soft. But this one is not soft. Very strong and sweet. So, glory be to Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. So now, Madam, we would like you to just quickly explain to us uh, comparing to how you had it before you started the uh, fish farm and the restaurant concerning your living condition uh, how you were managing yourself and after you had that breakthrough now how is your life after this you don't need to ask me if you look at me you know that i don't look like a retired somebody that is the hand of god at least every day i have money in my pocket so whether they pay the mini um, what do you call pension or not? I am all right. God is my provider and He has been providing. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. So now finally, of course, many people are watching you and we want to hear a word of advice from you. Can you just tell the viewers around the world concerning instructions given in righteousness and concerning this anointing water? Um, please, my dear brethren. My advice is this. Anything that comes out from the mouth of the prophet, please, key into it. Don't just play with it. It is word from above. He is not speaking of his own words. It drops from above. And he tells us. And we are privileged to be people to listen and hear from what, that word from my book, from the prophet. Please, take it seriously. Take it seriously, don't play with it. I get into it and look at where I am now. And I know, <laughs> this is just a certain point. I know God is taking me higher and higher. Amen. And uh, finally also, before we finish, we want to hear also concerning this anointing water that you ministered and that produced that growth that God Almighty used to bring about a prosperity breakthrough into your life. What is your word of advice uh, about this anointing water? Um, about the anointing water, please, the anointing water is the blood of Jesus. Use it in anything with faith. Use your faith to make a demand. The moment you 
spread anointing water that if you have the faith it must surely i said on the land that world must must surely come to pass and that is it don't play with anointed water please it is not ordinary water it is a gift from god glory be to jesus christ we also want to encourage you now as you have received this wonderful breakthrough in your life make sure that you stay close to jesus christ let his name be glorified in your works in your words and in everything that has to do with you so that this wonderful testimony will be maintained in your life and it will continue to be multiplied a hundredfold in jesus mighty name amen Mesdames et Messieurs, nous suivons le merveilleux témoignage de cette dame, qui est une dame qui est d'origine nigériane, qui était secrétaire en éducation et qui était retraitée en 2012. À l'orée de la nouvelle année 2013, elle suivait le, la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu et l'homme de Dieu invitait les gens à investir dans l'agriculture et l'élevage. Elle se demandait quoi faire car elle n'avait pas de terrain à exploiter. Subitement, elle eut la révélation d'investir dans la pisciculture. Elle s'est procurée des tanks pour construire son aquarium et administrer de l'eau d'onction aux poissons au sein de cet aquarium. En un rien de temps, les poissons se sont dé développée fulgureusement et elle a commencé par les commercialiser. En tant que quelqu'un était venu la voir pour lui dire « Madame, vous disposez d'un entrepôt, pourquoi n'utilisez-vous pas cet entrepôt pour en faire un restaurant et vendre de la nourriture à vos poissons aux gens ?» Alors elle eut l'idée d'ouvrir ce restaurant que nous voyons actuellement sur nos écrans, ce restaurant qui aujourd'hui permet de nourrir beaucoup de personnes et dans lequel de bons poissons sont servis pour la gloire de Dieu. Je remercie le Seigneur pour tous ses bienfaits. Continuamos con más testimonios del agua de unción. Esta mujer, como vemos en pantalla, nos platica un testimonio más del agua de ungida de después de ser en su carrera como profesionista retirada, como secretaria, sin ninguna esperanza y tal vez con sufrimientos o padecimientos financieros. Después del agua de unción se convirtió en plenitud en una realización como empresaria y mujer de negocios. Ella nos platica, como vemos en pantalla, que escuchó la palabra profética el del servicio cuando el hombre de Dios, el profeta TV Josh, anunció que el mundo y que todas las personas deberían de enfocarse al campo, a la agricultura, a los recursos naturales. Ella de pronto empezó en oración, en meditación y, y tuvo una inspiración del Espíritu Santo de, de dedicarse a, la, a los peces, a, una, a tener un crío un criadero de peces. Ella tuvo la oportunidad de consecutivamente desarrollar este negocio construyendo un tanque, iniciando con, un, con unos eh, pocos peces y con este tiempo ella empezó a crecer y a crecer. Además ella era dueña de un almacén en el cual alguien le dio una sugerencia de que por qué no lo convertía este almacén en una distribución o bien en un restaurante de vender el producto que ella estaba comercializando, puesto que tenía muchísima calidad. Ella nos platica que después de la oración, el agua de unción la puso en este estanque, y de hecho los mismos eh, distribuidores de pescado le decían que este pescado, el que ella estaba criando, era muy diferente, puesto que era muy fuerte, muy grande, y aparte tenía un sabor muy delicioso. Así es que gracias a Dios, por la gloria de Dios, aparte de ser ella una una empresaria, es una dueña de este creadero de peces, además es dueña de este restaurante que tiene mucho éxito, puesto que los peces que vende, el pescado que lo distribuye es muy fuerte, muy grande y muy delicioso. Un testimonio más de plenitud, de realización como empresaria y una mujer de negocios. Gloria a Dios.